Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I got a request on how to take a microwave apart step by step. Okay, I'm gonna do it as quickly as possible so you guys can go out there and start scrapping your microwave. All right, first thing you need is a this little bit set here. This is a tamper proof bit set. This is definitely what you need. I used I get this at a Home Depot for like maybe 20 bucks. I ordered it online. This is what you need to get rid of uh, these little bolts here. All right. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible so you guys can see and I'll show you the actual bolt itself once I get it out. All right, This is what the bolt looks like. I'm not sure if you can actually see that in the light there but that's a tamper proof uh, screw that you can use to get out a actually it's a tamper proof screw you can get a tamper proof bit set to get rid of this. Alright guys now I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible I know you guys want to go out there and start doing your own thing. Okay. I'm going to open it up here. Alright. Now a lot of you guys using uh, probably some sort of shears to cut this. Don't need it anymore. Just get these uh, tacky proof bits. Now this is what it looks like inside. Let me try to zoom in there. See that? Nothing much. You got your little, uh, I guess you call it a, your motor. There's some aluminum in here. There's some all this wiring and stuff. It's just, you know, this is the basics what's in, what's in a microwave. All right, I'm just gonna try to get this stuff out of here as quickly as possible. Okay, now, if the microwave was not turned on in the last week, you can scrap it, okay? Because once you turn these things on, this thing has power still attached to it, you are gonna get zapped, okay? Now, inside here, those are magnets, all right? Definitely, you can sell those. There's aluminum in there. Be careful with this stuff here. This is uh, a little cancer-causing agent there, all right? This here, there's brass. In through this line here, let me see if I can get this off really quick. There is two little lines of copper that you can actually use to, uh, to take and put it with your copper pile. Okay, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to unscrew this as fast as I can. All right, guys, I know you guys have better things to do than watch my little YouTube videos. Okay, now I'm going to try to pop this open here, but you probably can't do it. I probably need a hammer to do it. Give me a second here. Okay, let's see. There we go. There's the two little pieces of copper I told you about. There's a magnet, there's your aluminum. You can actually separate this. Very simple, very easy. Okay, I'll try to do this here, but it doesn't want to come out. Okay, but that's basic, that's one piece there. Then you got another piece of steel. Now, you want to go for the most important things like this little motor here. You go down here, there is another, some more screws there you can get out. Now let me see if I can get a drill bit as quickly as possible. Here we go. And you just need like a little, I say a little quick connect. Okay, so those are the uh, screws right there for that motor. Take that out. I know I got screws falling all over the floor. I usually put them all in a bucket. But I just want to show my scrapper quickly it is to take one of these things apart okay there's your motor right there just get your wire cutters snip that off there snip that off there nice heavy heavy piece cut them on one side pop them off on the other side should be no problem okay I'll have another video on doing that that way you can keep this and sell that for the steel Okay, now, I'm just going to unscrew the rest of this microwave. And guys, I don't do this all the time. This is a special request from a new scrapper that's only been scrapping a few months. So, I want to show him and any of your new scrappers what to do here. This also is recyclable. Alright, I'm just going to leave that there. This is a little motor that for the turntable, that is actually scrappable also. 
if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that I keep the motors. You can usually break it apart and take the copper out. I just usually sell it, sell it as is. But um, this doesn't look like it wants to open up anymore. Let me try to open this part here to get this panel off. Oh, I need another screw. Another tamper-proof bit here. See how easy that is without using shears and a hammer? Alright. I know uh, some other guys make videos using hammers. Kenny, you know, and uh, <laughs> some other you guys use uh, an axe jack. Okay, but um, I try to go as safe as safe as possible to strip one of these microwaves. Okay, pretty much that is it. You can, uh, as you can see there, there's a fan with a motor in it. This this should come right off. There you go, and uh, should be able to get the fan out. I'm sorry, not the fan, but the motor for the fan. Should be able to get that out pretty quickly. If not, you're gonna have to use uh, you're gonna have to go through Kenny's way and uh, use a hammer. All right. But as you can see, that all the wiring in here. Let me just get this out of the way. In there, you can see there is some uh, the board, and I'm going to try to get the board out. Usually, that takes a little time when you're trying to do it correctly and not, you know, use uh, other types of tools. I like to use maybe sometimes a screwdriver because they clip it in there really good. See that? Okay. I screwed up the board, but it's okay because uh, they'll still take this low-grade board as is. There's a little transformer there. Definitely keep that. And any other wiring, anything in there, just scrap it. Okay? It's not that, uh, it's not that hard to do. As you can see, there's nothing, there's nothing else in there. And this is pretty much an easy way of, of scrapping it. Everything else is scrappable. The steel from the microwave, the wiring, the magnets, the copper, the transformer, the low grade, everything in this microwave is recyclable. All right. Any questions, please leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Big money right here. Um, if you like the page, please like it right at the bottom there. Any questions, please let me know. Give me a comment. Ask me something. You know, if I know the answer, I definitely will let you know. All right, guys, till then, peace.